Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving rational equations. We're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this problem, v minus 3 over v squared plus 3v equals 1 over v plus 3 minus v minus 5 over v squared plus 3v. Now one thing I want to do is make sure all the denominators are the same. Now they're pretty close, but when they all are the same, we then can find a like term here, and or we can add them together and a like term, add them together, and it helps simplify easier. So we have v plus 3 here and v squared plus 3v. If I pull out a v in the v squared plus 3v, I have a v plus 3 inside, so let's do that. So we have v minus 3 up top, and then we have v times v plus 3. And I know my v's kind of look like square roots. This one here, this middle one, I want to have something just like it. I have v plus 3 here. If I multiply this fraction by v over v, okay, I then have the same denominator. And when you, you multiply v over v or something over itself, it's really multiplying by 1, so it doesn't change it, but we now have the same denominator, and look, I can make it as one big fraction here if I want. Again, subtraction here, v minus 5 over, do it again, pull out the v, and we have v times v plus 3 here. So now we have the same denominator, we can subtract the right-hand side. Left-hand side is keep the same, v minus 3, over v times v plus 3. Here, well, let's subtract the numerator, which you can, v minus v minus 5. All right, we can distribute that minus sign across, and so we have well, v minus v, and then minus minus 5 is plus a positive 5. So plus 5 over that denominator is just now together v times v plus 3. So now I'm going to multiply both sides by this denominator, or we can cross multiply, but I'm really going to just bring this side up. You'll see why in a second. And doing so is going to cancel some things out. It makes it a whole bunch easier to use and manipulate. So we have v minus 3 here, and don't distribute it yet, or ever actually, v times v plus 3. I'm going to put extra parentheses if you want. Over v times v plus 3 here, equals, well, v minus v is just, well, anything subtracted by itself is 0, so there's 0 plus 5, okay? Well, and luckily, v plus 3 here cancel, v cancels, and we're left with something pretty easy. We have just v minus 3 left over equals 0 plus 5, which is 5, add a 3 to both sides, and v is all by itself. We can write it right here, so that's v, bear with my v's here, v's equal 5 plus 3, which is 8. But we have to check this, right? It told us to check for extraneous solutions. So let's check. Let's see if that actually was right. So what I'm going to do is rewrite my original equation, but put 8 in for every v, and luckily you won't have to see my v's anymore. So we have 8 minus 3. Let's do it like this. Put a parenthesis. I like to put parentheses around everything that I substitute in. Make sure I bring it all. So we have 8 minus 3 over 8 squared plus 3 times 8 equals excuse me, 1 over 8 plus 3 minus 8 minus 5 over 8 squared plus 3 times 8. Now I always have a calculator handy because I always make some simple little mistakes here. Okay? Now we want to make sure the left and right hand side are equal, so we're going to keep them separate, simplify the left and right hand side individually, and see if they become the same answer. Well, 8 minus 3 is 5 here, right? And then 8 squared is 64 plus 3 times 8, which is 24. We have 1 over 8 plus 3 is 12. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 11. See, that's a simple little mistakes I always make here. Minus 8 minus 5, okay, 8 minus 5 is a 3 over 
8 squared is 64, plus 3 times 8 is 24. Alright, I'm just going to calculate because I'm going to make a mistake here. 64 plus 24, or let's do 5 divided by, let's do it all at once, 64 plus 24. And that, as a fraction, comes out to be 5 over 58. Okay, good job, Sean. Over, well, 1 over 11 minus 64, or 3 divided by 64 plus 24. And that, as a fraction, is 3 over 80. So, right hand, left hand side, keep the same, 5 over 58. Let's see if the right hand side becomes that. 1 over 11 minus 3 divided by 88. And what do we have here? Oh, we have 5 over 88. Oh, let's just double check, see if I made a mistake here. I have 5 over 88. Let's see, did anything happen? 8 minus 3, I got this 5. 8 squared 64. So 5, 64 plus 24. Oh, 64 plus 24. There we go. Found it. This should be an 88. Ah, some of you are probably watching that and be like, wait, what? How did he hit 58? It's an 88 here. I'm sorry. I can't believe. See, little mistakes here, even with the calculator. So, sorry. That was 64 plus 24. should be 88, and that's 5 for 88. So, either way, always kind of double check. Don't just erase everything right away if you make mistakes. We all can make mistakes. Left and right hand side, though, are equal meaning that our answer was true and our final answer is just v equals eight minute math minute math when you need help you use minute math minute math minute math when you need help you use minute math minutemathtutor.com